Hey guys, so welcome to Upfront Games for this week, and we're going to jump right into it with the PlayStation uh, trailer for the week, which is going to be John Wick Hex. I want to first say that there's not a whole lot when it comes to game releases this week, only PlayStation and Xbox, um, so it's going to be a lot of fast movement through the stories this week. However, here's that John Wick Hex trailer. Check it out. Power respects power. To earn a place by my side, they need to demonstrate power. John Wick killing you demonstrates power. Guys, that was John Wick Hex, the trailer for PlayStation coming out this week. So, a couple things, like I said, it's it's kind of shy on release stuff, but there's a couple things to just kind of get on my chest when it comes to certain elements on various weeks. And this week, um, due to the release of what is going to be free for the game for the month of May. From PlayStation is City Skylines and Farming Simulator 19. Those are the free games that were put out by PlayStation. And all I've seen are complaints. Now, I may get some flack for this, but this is the way I see it. PlayStation gives us two games a month for nothing. That they give away, or sorry, for nothing. Every month of the year. That's 24 games. And I'm shy a couple based on the months that they give away three or four occasionally. Now, if that's 24 games that are on average 20 to $30 normally priced, that's at a minimum $480 worth of games. But we feel the need to complain when they don't give something that favors the masses in titles and may favor the casual gamer instead. Most of the time we've received good titles offered and sometimes not so much, but Sony has to cater to every type of game, gamer in their offering. I just think we should remember that and be grateful for something we pay $60 a year for. Every now and then, PlayStation has to switch it up and give out games that people in different genre interests are looking for or would love to play. So we have to keep that in mind. Anyway, that's my little uh, piece of news and rant on that. Uh, moving into PlayStation Store has a huge under $20 sale going on right now that includes the likes of Far Cry 5, Star Wars Battlefront 2, EA Sports UFC 3, and about 100 others until May 13th. It's a pretty good list, so go ahead and check that out. Alright, moving into Xbox. Xbox trailer for the week is Super Mash. Comes out May 8th. Check this out.
with Super Mash, and that's coming out across multiple platforms this week, um, May 8th. So go ahead and check that out. All right, uh, Desperados 3 features violent puzzles and a party of five. Nearly 20 years after the introduction, John Cooper returns as a part of a party of five that set that's setting on old west bounties and sandbox missions. Civil zones where you can explore a town to pick up hints on how to complete certain missions adds a new dynamic. Uh, Desperados 3 will launch June 16th and the pre-order is available now. Xbox Game Pass has surpassed 10 million members in 41 countries worldwide, linking up to 23 million friends and has increased gameplay by 130%. Now this isn't too hard to fathom as people still stay at home the majority of the time, but it is a cool look at how certain technologies are helping people connect and get through with their favorite genre of games. Now Nintendo has no release as stated, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into their news. Coffee Stain and developer Easy Trigger have announced Hunt Down will be arriving on Switch eShop while all consoles on May 12th. It was confirmed for Switch back in 2017. It's a 16-bit pixel art graphic shooter at 60 frames per second. Sorry, battle, battler, not shooter. At 60 frames per second with an 80s backdrop. Be one of the three bounty hunters as you try to free the city from the corrupt list of, of criminal gangs. You can also team up with a second player in co-op throughout the entire process. A Nintendo Direct event in June may not happen. Nintendo stated that it needs more time for development on first party releases before doing any type of event. The company adjusting to staff working remotely has some weight to the decision. Nintendo themselves, however, have not made an official statement that they would not be doing a Direct next month or if it even exists at all but has stated that they continue to be flexible to keep fans up to date after the cancellation of E3. That's it for Nintendo. Now moving into Stadia. Stadia again, no release, but three new titles were given to Stadia Pros this month, including PUBG Pioneer Edition, which comes with a Survivor Pass Cold Front, and the Stadia exclusive skin. Zombie Army 4 Dead War and Turing Test. So you can get them all now by claiming them in the app if you were a Stadia Pro. Now Stadia is about to receive a messaging app in version 2.16. The Insight team dug in to see what was planned and found a batch of chat references in the code. This seems to be pointing to Stadia gaining a full in-app messaging experience. There were also references to a new privacy setting, which would be something that could be integrated into the chat system. That's it for this week, guys. By all means, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hit us up next week right here on Sunday for Upfront Games News. See you.